Hello, third grade. We are going to do our red word lesson today. You have three new red words. Before we learn three new red words, let's practice two words we learned in the past. This is a word from last week. Uh, against. Stand up and tap it out. Go. Hey, G A I N S T. Here's another word from the past. Plus from the past. B. Cause. Go ahead and tap this one out. B E C A U S E. It's good to practice those old words because we use them a lot, especially this one. You should always spell because right. We use that one a lot. A lot. All right, let's jump right in. Hmm. We have three new words. Make sure before you get started, you have your red word folder here, just like this. And first we're gonna listen to the sounds. First you're gonna listen and tell me how many sounds you hear. Our first word is again. Again. Please tell me that again. Think about again. Hmm. What do you hear? How many sounds? Uh, g, eh, mm. I hear a, uh, g, eh, and mm. Oh boy. Let's talk about those sounds. I hear four sounds. Did you hear four sounds? Let's talk about that first sound we hear. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. What goes uh? If you said you, you're right. But guess what? And again, that's an A. Let's talk about that next sound. Uh, g. Hmm. Uh, g. That should be a G. That's right. I'm going to check that one off. This one was odd, but that one is gram grammatically correct or phon phonetically correct. However, remember these are red words. So you can't sound them out. So that's what, why we are doing this. So you can see that, that you have to memorize these words. You cannot sound these out. So let's say, uh, g, eh, eh. You should have heard an E sound. But guess what? Again, does not have an E sound. That is an AI making that sound. And that's breaking the rules. This is AI. That's supposed to make a long A sound. Two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, and always says its name. Well, not in this case. Oddball. So I'm going to mark these red. Red odd. Odd. We'll leave that check. We'll actually mark this one green. This one is green. for. That's good to go. Let's look at that other sound that we heard. Mmm. Yeah, you're right. And then mix that. And that is green. That's correct. So with two reasons here. Why? Again is an oddball. Why it's a red word. Remember our language is packed full of other languages. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and write this word. You have a red marker or a red crayon or a red pencil or a pen. Go ahead and put a number one here at the top. And then you're going to write against. I mean, <laughs> again, right here. Ready? A G A I N. Again. How can we scoop that? Let's see. Let's scoop that just like we did against. Kind of reminds me of against. A G A I N. Again. Again. All right. Let's stand up 
and tap that out. Get ready. A G A I N again. A G A I N again. A G A I N again. Perfect. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and stick this underneath your paper and go ahead and trace it three times. I'm gonna do it with you. As you trace it, I want you to spell it by yourself. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna distract you. I want you to do it. Now, I want you to go ahead and put the screen on top where you can still see that word. You see it? Again, trace it three times. Spelling it as you go, again. A G A I N again. Your turn. Great. Let's go ahead and write it three times on the back. Let's go ahead and write it three times on the back. Go A G. A I N A G A I N A G A I N. Now, my sentence would be Can we please ride that ride again? What would your sentence be? Go ahead and write your sentence. You're gonna share your sentence on a discussion board. Make it a good one. So you're gonna share three sentences today. You're gonna to share a sentence for again and the other two red words. So make sure you write it a good one. Write a good one. All right, let's do our next word. Our next word. Listen closely. Our next word is almost, almost. How many sounds do you hear? All, m, o, st, st. Almost. Let's take a deeper look at that. All, all. Hmm, I know two ways to make all. A W or A U, but guess what? A L says all in this one. That makes it an oddball. I'm gonna put a red dot there. These green dots want to linger. Let's look at the rest of the spelling. All m o st. Those are pretty normal. It's like our beginning is a little strange here. These are all green. So we have another sight word here, almost. I almost made that basketball into the hoop. Almost, almost. Let's go ahead and write almost. Put a number two here. And write all most chunk it out as A L M O S T A L M O S T almost. Let's tap it out. Ready? A L M O S T almost. A L M O S T almost. A L M O S T almost. Now let's trace it. Go ahead and stick your screen under your paper and trace it three times and spell it as you go. Almost. 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 Now you are going to put your screen on top so you can still see it, or you can test yourself and see if you could do it without looking. 
Almost. Almost. Make sure you are spelling it. Almost. Now you're going to turn your book to the back page here. And we have a good collection of our red words here. Look at all the red words we have been learning about. Hmm, about was one of them. Okay, let's go ahead and write almost three times. Almost. Spell it as you go. And now I want you to come up with a sentence. Remember, make it a good one. You're going to have to share it on our discussion board. Almost. My sentence was, I almost made that basketball into the basket. Last red word. Let's check it out. So, our last red word is odd. Odd. Let's, let's look at that one. How many sounds do you hear? Odd. Odd. D. I hear an O for all. O for all. And then we hear a D. But guess what? That's not one D, that's two. That's what makes it irregular. That's what makes it odd. It's those two Ds right there. We have two D's at the end of a word. Very irregular. Funny, funny business there. I wonder what's the history behind this word. You could probably look it up to find out why we spell odd this way. Let's go ahead, get out your book, and let's write odd. I thought that was odd that you didn't like chocolate. That's very odd. Everyone likes chocolate. It's my sentence. O, D, D. I don't think we really need to chunk this one. O, D, D. Just one chunk. O, D, D. Let's tap. O, D, D. Odd. O, D, D. Odd. O, D, D. Odd. Go ahead and trace it. Hmm. You're spelling it. Do it again. O D D odd. O D D odd. O D D odd. Write it three times. Right here. And then go ahead and generate a sentence for me. Odd. I thought that my friend was odd because he didn't like chocolate. Odd. Again, almost odd. Now it's time for you to share your sentence on our discussion board. So don't put these away yet. I want to see those sentences. 